Hello everyone. Welcome to It's Tomorrow News. I am Hena Talati. China ramps up rescue efforts after a heavy storm hits northern region. Beijing and nearby cities stepped up rescue efforts on Tuesday after the rains and floods brought by the remnants of the typhoon Doksuri disrupted services and food supplies and claimed 20 lives in one of the worst storms to hit northern China in over a decade. Beijing's Fangshan district said it would deploy helicopters to drop off food, drinking water and emergency supplies to the villages in the mountainous areas that have been cut off. In nearby Tianjin, where the rain has become intermittent, 35,000 people have been evacuated from the homes and local government fortified riverbanks and stepped up the inspection and repairs of the power, water and communications lines. Food delivery giant Meituan also added staff and extended delivery times as orders of the vegetables, meat and eggs rose 50% on its app and overall shopping increased 20% media reported. The death count in the Beijing rose to 11 on Tuesday with 13 people still missing. The city government said rainfall over the past few days has surpassed levels seen in the July 2012 when Beijing was hit by what was then the strongest storm since the founding of the modern China, receiving 190.3 mm of the rain in one day and affecting more than 1.6 million people. China's president demanded thorough search and rescue efforts for those missing or trapped, instructing authorities to minimize the casualties and restore living conditions to normal as possible state media reported. In Hebei province, nine people died and six were missing. Tsai Ing-wen, president of the democratically governed Taiwan, which China claims as a part of its territory, sent condolences. Her office said a show of cross-strait sympathy reserved for the major disasters. China's finance ministry announced it would allocate 110 million yuan for rescue work in the Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei region. Doksuri, one of the strongest storms to hit China in years weakened as it rolled inland and dumped non-stop precipitation in northern cities over the few days. Authorities have warned risk of further floods and other geological disasters remained. Localized thunderstorms and strong winds were forecast on Tuesday for Beijing, Tianjin and Hebei, state broadcaster CCTV said as the rainfall stretched into the fourth day. Rivers have swollen to dangerous levels, prompting Beijing to use flood storage reservoirs for the first time since it was built 25 years ago. As of Monday night, China's capital city had sealed off over 100 mountain roads and evacuated more than 52,000 people from their homes. Several subway lines in the capital, including trains in the western suburbs, were suspended on Tuesday. Beijing's Montegawa district in the west saw dramatic damage the day before after the torrential rains turned roads into the rivers, sweeping cars away. Nearly 400 flights were cancelled on Tuesday and hundreds delayed at the Beijing's two airports tracker app flight master showed. Beijing recorded an average of 260 mm of the rainfall from Saturday to early Monday with the Changping Wangquan Reservoir logging the largest reading at 738.3 mm. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.